My name is Sivin Kitt, and I'm glad to come back after being absent for three weeks. Confession time from the pastor. Um, I'll just say a couple of things, and then I would like to just sing a Christmas song, if that's okay with you. And you can sing with me, because I know you guys know the song. But I think one very important thing I've learned is, especially during this season, our presence is more important than our presence. Our presence, giving our presence, is more important than giving presents. We can, if we can pose, even better. You know? But and the last one year, there are a few people that has been in my mind, especially when I think about Christmas, especially this season. The first is uh, a young man who comes to our church to fix our photostat machine, and every time I ask him how's the in-draft meetings, and then we start talking and we share his pains, his struggles, his frustrations. And our times together has helped me to understand more about what he is going through and what his community is going through even today. The other person I'll never forget is that eventful, on that eventful December the 9th, we were here before we came here for that day. No, it's not, not December, it's November. I had a chance to meet Scott Lila. I think she came to share one of the uh, videos which I was absent. And every time I read her blog, every time, and especially when I saw the documentary that she had a chance to share about her experiences and how her husband is still in there for so long, uh, I moved to tears. And she gives us a glimpse of what it feels like as a, a mother, as a wife of someone who is detained without trial. Recently, I had a chance to meet our call Mr. C, and he shared with me how he had to run away from Burma through the borders of Thailand, and right now he's someone who is stateless, homeless, someone whom I would consider truly in exile. And every and I have a chance to meet him once a week, and every time I'm in his presence, in fact, I think his presence uh, changes me. The times that we have together changes me, and I really appreciate the gift that they actually offer to us. We continue to stand up. We want to stand up for them. We want to stand up for what is right. But we also want to remember that in the midst of the fights for justice, standing up, speaking out, we also want to spend the time with the people who are really suffering. I think that's really important. So that we are not just issues based on people of issues. We truly are focused on the people who are affected by the issues. OK, enough of preaching and speeches. Huh? Okay, enough. You just can't help it. Um, I'd like to sing a song, Oh Holy Night. How many of you know this song? All right. If you know it, you can sing with me. And I'd just like to read a few lines that has been in my mind every time I sing this song. It's been very strongly impacting to me. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices. Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace. Chains shall be break, for the slave is our brother. I would include sister. In his name, all oppression shall cease. I think there are some parts of this uh, carol that many of you can relate to, and I'd like to just offer it as a gift for us this Christmas season. Uh, I mean, you know, this is nothing solo. Uh, and I know Richard is a good singer, so we can do it. No, no, no. If you can sing, if you sing it, then I can sing in parts. All right. But is there anyone else who'd like to come up and sing with me? As a picture of us singing. Those of you feel comfortable, aren't they? All right.
accentuate what's similar amongst us and not what's dissimilar. In fact, I just heard today that the virgin birth of Jesus by Mary is recorded in the Quran. I forgot the verse and the, the, the surah and the ayat, Haris would know. <laughs> well, you should know. <laughs> And, and I, I was really touched that even the Quran records the birth of Jesus as the Messiah to Mary, and the Quran honors Mary as well as Jesus. So that's amazing. And of course, we don't know that because politicians always emphasize the differences and not the similarities. And Christmas is a celebration of the birth of Jesus. So it's something that. Fortunately, even our government celebrates. As I said, next Saturday night, the Selangor State Government will celebrate Christmas at the curb. So all of you are welcome to join in. Um, any other sharing? Otherwise, I will invite Yang Mulia Raja Petra Kamaludin. who doesn't need any title, you know? He doesn't need any tantri, dato, or that. He's our... Abang, Abang Kusar.